you get that, I get that when you look young sometimes you get that stuff. Like, can we do one more? And maybe we can um I was motivated to get into filmmaking. Uh I guess being one of those folks that always had a camera or when you know when you're out and about, somebody always there filming and I was that person and I got to the point where I wanted to actually see an end result and you know actually tell a story instead of just having random shots of everything. So as I realized that it was a career and doing something that you like is filmmaking, so I decided to try um, my favorite crew position. Um, of course, anybody would probably love everything on a set, but um, I would say favorite would be directing and producing. Um, I also kind of like doing cinematography, lighting, and set design, and you know, just anything involved with the set. But um, if I had to pick overall, I would say directing. Mm -hmm. I was inspired by many different films, um, films like Scarface. Um, Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, She's Gotta Have It, um, Goodfellas, you know, a little bit of a variety of all the different films and I would take a little bit from each and, you know, that kind of take me to where I'm at as far as the type of films I would like to do. And I would say I'd change, grown, you know, as a film student and, you know, as a filmmaker as well, as a person, you know, um, learn to work with people and, you know, and kind of seeing the common goal and, you know, getting to the end without at least problems, you know, it's, working them out and getting something done and then getting there to actually seeing the project done. The proudest moment at school as a film student um, would be of course winning um, awards as far as some of my projects and films I worked on um, but those are individual but I would say um, proudest moment would be uh, as far as working on the 48 hour film projects we did um, two um, from, Goals, I mean, from Greensboro where we get 48 hours to make a movie and um, first one I worked behind the scenes doing all the pictures and photos and then the second one, I actually was an uh, assistant director, so I got a chance to do some scheduling and working with, you know, cast and director and everybody, you know, to, just to get the whole experience of, of that whole situation. So I think, you know, 48 Hour would be my ov overall. And we won awards with that, too, so that was pretty cool. And one more thing, I'm sorry, is uh, submitting a film to the Hay Tai Film Festival. Um, didn't win, but, you know, I got good, good praise from it, you know, as far as from the um, industry professionals and also the people there. So um, it, that was a big thing because, like I said, it was something I worked on, you know, with some, some classmates and stuff like that. But it was really, a, you know, um, something I wrote and, you know, had an idea and, and did it. So kind of proud of it. What that. I want people to take away from my films, messages and moral wise, is um, messages mainly is just to pay attention to details, um, watch your surroundings, watch what's going on around you because, you know, it's a crazy world we live in. So we can't really walk around here sleeping, you know what I'm saying? That's why my newest film, Sleepers Awake, is coming out soon. But it's all about, you know, just kind of paying attention and not walking around sleepwalking, you know, see what's going on around you. So in all my films, you're going to see these, see something that's kind of telling you to watch what's going on around you, or you might find yourself in a bad situation. Um, I want my uh, fellow students and faculty members to remember me as um, a good student. I can say it's sometimes difficult because, you know, that's, that's just the nature of life, you know what I'm saying? But um, overall, just, you know what I'm saying, I just want them to remember me as a good person that, you know, try to do hard, try to help out others and do as much as I can and you know and I hope most of them will remember me as, as a good person but you know what the saying is you can't please everybody all the time so but basically I want to you know do a feature you know where everybody you know is talking about it and want to see it you know good or bad you know what I'm saying um, it's because of entertainment for one so you know if it's entertaining people you know then that's that's what we're here for as filmmakers is to entertain so I want to have something there that everybody can you know take something away from it and feel like I feel about when I do a project you know I want to go there and get an experience, not just entertain as well. So I want to kind of cross over with both entertaining and giving somebody an experience. And to get there, I mean, I just have to, you know, continue to work hard, you know, um, press forward, you know, come past any kind of um, obstacles and, you know, adversity that come my way and just, you know, fight through them and, you know, continue to do what I can do. And, you know, if you like what you do, you'll never work again. And, you know, I always was like in filming, so I said, might as well try to do it. Once I realized it was an outlet as far as going to school and, you know, taking the time to, you know, learn the craft, then, you know, that's what I wanted to do. So that's what, that's what I'm doing.